Hey what's up guys and welcome to this video. This video is all about high refresh rate monitors. I'm sure it's a term you've probably heard before, high refresh rate. Well what is a refresh rate and what is a high refresh rate and how is it going to affect your monitor? Well when you're looking at buying a new monitor there are all sorts of different marketing terms and it's up to you to decide what's important and what isn't. Now the three most important bits of information about a monitor is its panel type, its refresh rate and its resolution. Now the refresh rate is quite simple to understand. All a monitor does is push images to your eye at a certain amount of times per second in hertz and that is the refresh rate, so the number of images produced in a second. So the higher the refresh rate, the smoother the image will be. But what sort of numbers do we need? Now the most common refresh rate is 60 hertz, so 60 images presented to you every second. This is probably what you'd consider normal and if you used it, you'd probably just call it a monitor because it's probably what you're used to. But the main refresh rates these days are 30 hertz, 60 hertz, 120 hertz and 144 hertz. 30 hertz is kind of a new one, it isn't very good, it's not something you're going to want to use. At the moment it's mostly used in the new 4K monitors but of the cheaper varieties, the ones that they're trying to sell at the lower prices and because it's only 30 hertz you're getting half the refresh rate that you'll be used to and it's pretty much terrible for everything and I wouldn't recommend you go out and get one. Looking up to 60 hertz again this is what you're used to, it's probably what you consider normal and for pretty much any sort of use it is not only fine but it's more than sufficient to be perfectly honest. But what about these high refresh rate monitors? What are they and what do they do? Well, obviously you can probably guess 120 and 144 hertz monitors just push more frames per second. Frames per second is of course something you'll be used to, a sort of term you'll be heard in games and obviously your graphics card can only produce a certain amount of frames per second and if your monitor then can show those frames, so if you've got a 120 hertz monitor and you've got a graphics card capable of pumping out 120 frames a second, then that's going to mean that you are going to see 120 frames a second. So it's going to be a much smoother experience both from the look and the feel of it because of course if you're using a mouse or even a controller you're going to actually feel more, you're going to feel more responsive. Now these 120 hertz and 144 hertz panels were originally developed for 3D because they did twice as many images per second, one for each eye. However, at the moment they're very big in the PC market because of things like first person shooters and MOBA games as they're very good for Twitch reaction based games as you get that extra level of responsiveness. However, there is a big drawback and that is currently the only type of panel that actually supports these higher resolutions is a TN panel. Now you might be able to see at the moment that this monitor here kind of looks not necessarily washed out but it doesn't look quite right. That is a TN panel and the downside to having TN panel is that not only the colours aren't quite as good, but the viewing angles aren't quite as good. However, things like VA and IPS panels have better colours, better blacks, and are generally just better panels. So at the moment, we have a trade-off. If you want these higher refresh rates, then it means you're going to have to use a TN panel, which is fine for some, but if you're doing colour-critical work, or if you're going to be doing a lot of movie watching and things like that, then they're not really that ideal. The main use is the fact that they are smoother and more responsive and obviously that lends itself to gaming. So that is a choice you're going to have to make when you're deciding on a monitor. Of course it's worth noting that this is only accurate at the time of filming and if you're watching this in a few months time, a few years time, it might not be the case and we might be able to get IPS monitors with higher refresh rates but sadly at the time of filming we don't have them. So if you're after a new premium monitor you pretty much have two choices. You have one where you go for a really nice high quality panel but with a lower refresh rate or you go for a higher refresh rate with arguably a less, less good panel, that's not the right thing to say, a panel that isn't going to provide quite as much in the way of colour accuracy and colour reproduction. But of course that is the choice, so it depends on what you're going to be using it for. If you're going to be using it for a lot of games and pretty much just games then you may well be better off for going with a higher refresh rate panel if you're going to be using it as more sort of general use or you're not going to be playing these Twitch games then I would definitely recommend sticking with a IPS or VA panel and that would only be at 60 hertz. If you're after a 4K one then you don't have a choice at the moment it has to be a 60 hertz panel. Or of course you could cheat and do what a lot of people like myself are doing where you have one panel for image quality and one panel for gaming with a higher refresh rate. I say it's cheating, you're just buying two different things and that is kind of the best thing to do right now, 
but of course money is of the object for the majority of people so if you're just going to go for one on a personal level unless you're going to be doing just gaming i would definitely say stick with the 60 hertz panel but i hope this video has helped and i hope it's made you understand what all this high refresh rate malarkey is all about so leave a comment below and let me know if you have any questions what you thought of the video hit a like hit hit a like hit the like button if you thought this video was good and you liked it clues in the name likewise if you disliked it let me know hit the dislike button but please let me know why you didn't like it so i can improve for next time so we all get better content and i leave happy thanks very much again subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this and others on pcs gaming and technology and of course until next time I will see you next time.